Hello, I'm Sue Montgomery. Today I'm going to do demonstration for Thai fish cake. It's very popular and very easy to make. You can get it done within half an hour. It's easy, convenient and economic. Hi, I'm Beth Denny. I'm Sue's daughter. Today we'll be cooking Thai fish cakes and showing you the techniques to use in your home. When you go to the Chinese supermarket or your local oriental supermarket, you will find grey featherback fish paste. It's what we use for Todd Man Bla Thai fish cakes. It's approximately 500 grams in weight and it will be in the frozen section. These are the ingredients we'll be using today. We've got red curry paste, granulated sugar, fish sauce and water. We've got some green beans, we've got some kaffir lime leaves, we've got some fish paste. These are the ingredients for the garnish. We've got a sweet chilli which has already been made. You can buy this in um, a bottle from your local oriental supermarket or your local supermarket. We've got cucumber, we've got some salted peanuts and we've got some coriander. At the moment my mum's finally chopping the green beans. This is a kaffir lime. What you do is you fold it in half, pull out the stem and then you roll it up so that you can finely slice it. See how finely my mum's slicing this? The more you cut it very fine, the more fragrant smell you can get it out from the kefir lamb. Here we have a cucumber which has been cut into quarters, the seeds have been removed and my mum's finely slicing them. At the moment my mum's chopping up the peanuts to sprinkle onto the chilli sauce. You can also use a food processor to crush the peanuts or you can use a roll, the end of a rolling pin. My mum's got some gloves on her hands. She's coating the gloves in some oil, which will make the fish cakes easier to handle. My mum's getting the sauces and adding them into a bowl. She's added the fish sauce and the water. Now she's adding the sugar and the curry paste. Using your hands, you need to mix all the ingredients together, combine them well, make sure that you get all the granulated sugar from the bottom. Once this is done, you get the fish, which has been defrosted at room temperature. And again, using your hands, you mix the ingredients together. Make sure you mix well. My mum is just about to combine the mixed fish into the kaffir lime and the green beans. And again, using your hands, you want to almost knead it like you would knead bread and mix the two together. The reason that you do this is because you don't want too much air into the fish cakes. This will help the fish cakes to cook well. Mm -hmm. 
my mum's coating the plate with a bit of oil just to make sure that the fish cake mixture doesn't stick. Approximately a tablespoon of the fish cake mixture rolled into a ball and she's pressing gently as she turns it. This forms neat little patty shapes. Almost like a mini burger. Five hundred grams of the fish cake mixture will make approximately how many patties? About sixty. About sixty patties of this size. So slightly like a squashed golf ball size. On a baking tray we've got some kitchen roll that we've just layered on top of each other and we've got the cold wok with about a litre of vegetable oil. The gas is on a medium heat the oil has been heating in the wok for approximately 30 seconds. My mum's just going to dip a wooden chopstick into the oil to test whether the temperature is right. Can you see the little bubbles around the wooden chopstick? This means that the oil is hot enough and also you can hear in the pan that there's little crackles. This means that we can add the fish cakes to the oil. My mum is taking the fish cake and gently sliding it into the oil. At the moment there are about 10 fish cakes in the pan. Try not to add too many as the fish cakes won't cook very well and they'll be harder to turn. Okay, my mum's starting to remove the fish cakes from the pan as they're starting to go golden. As you can see around the edges, they're slightly crispy slightly darker colour than in the centre. As the fish cakes are becoming light brown in colour, this means that the fish cakes are cooked. We've got about two batches of the fish cake that's left. The reason that we've cooked them separately is we're going to show you a technique to cook it at a later stage because we can't eat all the fish cakes today. This batch will take it out just before it's cooked and then you can freeze it in the freezer once it's cooled. The fish cakes can be put into the oven on gas mark five after they've been defrosted for approximately five minutes. Make sure that they're warm all the way through before eating. Okay, if you look at the difference between the two, the one on the left is the one that we're going to be eating today and the one on the right is the one that we'll be saving and storing in the freezer. So we've got some cucumber in the bowl, we've got the finely chopped peanuts, add the sweet chilli sauce to the cucumber. Sprinkle on the coriander and add the nuts. Thai fish cakes. For the recipe, check out www.bethdenny.co.uk. I'll put the link below.